some copies of that available and uh, song we wrote a while back. Right now we're going to do this song here and uh, I've always been a really big fan of the old time acapella style of singing. How about y'all? <laughs> Dr. Ralph Stanley was uh, the very first to introduce acapella style of singing to bluegrass music all the way back in 1970. And uh, we, we've always loved that style of singing too and we try our very best to carry it on and uh, one of his most requested numbers was an old number by the name of Children Go Where I Send Thee. So we're going to try that for you here tonight, and uh, we hope y'all enjoy it. And uh, we'll get Ralph over here to get us a good old timey F chord on the old guitar. I sure I will. All right. sure Are them new strings on it, Ralph? Right? No, they're getting pretty old. Oh, they sound mighty good tonight. I haven't changed them in a long time. <laughs> well, let's hear them one more time then. <clears throat> Third time's the charm. <laughs> Children, go where I send thee. Oh, Lord, how am I send thee? Oh, I'm going to send thee one by one. Because one was a little bitty baby. Born. Children born in Bethlehem. Children, go where I send thee. Oh, Lord, how will I send thee? Oh, I'm going to send thee two by two. Because two was a Paul and Silas. One was a little big baby. Oh, children born in Bethlehem. Children. Yeah. Y'all enjoying yourself, you say tonight? Yeah. 
Well, we're glad you're here with us tonight. And uh, I know Ralph Two's tickled to death to be back in Shepherdsville tonight. Yes, yeah, sure. He sure is. Yeah, and, uh, after this, we're heading up to Mansfield, Ohio, to do Ernie Thacker's benefit show for tomorrow. And anybody has a notion they want to drive up, there'll be a lot of good talent tomorrow. I think. Uh, I believe we're we're there, and uh, Don Rigsby, Larry Cordell, uh, Jeff Brown, still lonesome. Uh, Ernie Evans is going to be there. I was trying to think who else is with us tomorrow, but there's a whole lot of Sammy Atkins and his man. Uh, there's a big lineup on it. I can't remember exactly, but I think you can catch it on Facebook or something and check it out. Are you boys ready? Where's Alex at? Alex, right, yeah, I'm ready. You care if I introduce this fine gentleman over here? You just have at it, do what you want to. All right, thank you, stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> this fellow right over here does such a great job, and uh, he's been in the music business now for quite some time. I guess he started on the stage back, wait a minute, was it on the stage or underneath the stage? <laughs> he started uh, way back there, about two years old, started traveling all around the country, and even foreign countries too, uh, very, very young age with his dad and uh, been in 49 states. And uh, since about 1995, he became the lead singer for Dr. Ralph Stanley and the Clinch Mountain Boys. And uh, during that time, he's recorded some wonderful albums, uh, two of them of which he's been nominated for two separate Grammy Awards. And I know he's very proud of those. He's also been part of several Grammy winning projects with his dad. And as we said, he's been in 49 states. I believe uh, Hawaii is the only one that uh, we're trying to go to next. Ain't that right? Gary needs to get a festival. Gary, let's get us a good one now. <laughs> but anyhow, <laughs> but anyhow, he does such a wonderful job. And uh, as we all know, back in 2016, we lost Dr. Ralph Stanley, our ultimate hero. And, and uh, Dr. Ralph wanted this gentleman right here to carry on with Lynch Mountain Boys. And we're so honored to get to try our very best to fill them shoes and um, it started all the way back in 1946 and uh, now this gentleman right here is carrying on the great Stanley tradition and uh, only he can do just that as far as I'm concerned he is uh, doing such a wonderful job at carrying the great tradition on and uh, he's been recording some brand new music along the way and also keeping that great Stanley um, sound alive too and as I said we're honored to be on stage with him without further ado y'all get together and make him feel real good here at Shepherdsville tonight he is my friend, he's your friend, he's the one and the very only. Round stand to the second. Make him feel good. Thank you. 
We're gonna, we probably, how many more we got? A couple more songs? Uh, one more or two more? Two more? Okay, we'll do two more songs and we'll take a little break. And, uh, well, before we get started, why don't you uh, go ahead and tell them about what CDs we have. Or Alex, you do that, and uh, uh, Randall, you tell them about all our good festivals and events coming up pretty soon. All right. Folks, we'll be back right after this message. Thank you, Sam. It makes you feel like you're on ESPN or something. Yes, sir. It makes you feel good. No. I have that ESPN. I knew you was going to say it. Really? Yep. Yeah. You're good. Uh -huh. Don't tell me. Tell us about them good festivals coming up. We've got yeah. a couple of big ones we're all excited Two about. Two fantastic festivals. Uh, first one is in March, the fourth annual James Wimmer Bristol Bluegrass Spring Fest. And it's at the beautiful Holiday Inn Convention Center in uh, Bristol, Virginia. Off of exit seven there, and uh, this year we have Larry Sparks and Lonesome Rammers, Ralph Stanley the second, the Clinch Mountain Boys. We have the uh, Gospel Greats, the Isaacs with us this year. Got Blue Highway, Lonesome River Band, and uh, Dave Atkins. Just a whole host of other bands, and uh, you can get a flyer on it back there at the table. Uh, this year, uh, reach a hotel room and stay right there with us. Um, good price on the ticket, sixty five dollars for two days, and. Uh, Get all that music and enjoy yourself. And the uh, website is mountainheritagemusic.com or come back and get a flyer and talk with us about it. Also, we got the 48th Annual Dr. Ralph Stanley Memorial Bluegrass Festival at the Hills of Home Park this year. And that's where Carter and Ralph laid to rest there at the cemetery. And uh, Ralph too's got music playing all the time up there. And uh, it's just a good atmosphere to be in. It's home for the Stanley Brothers. And, uh, this year we got Russell Moore in third time out, Larry Sparks on some Ramblers, Joe Mullins, the Radio Ramblers, Gary Brewer and the Kentucky Ramblers. We got all kinds of Ramblers up there this year. I might do some rambling while I'm up there this year. And, yeah. uh, of course we got Larry Gillis and the Swamp Grass crew. We got David Parman, Cardinal Tradition, and uh, uh, Christy Stanley's got her new band going to be up there on Thursday. And uh, who else we got, boys? Just, you name it, it's our Ralph two got flyers on. Yeah, Ralph's got a surprise guest going to be up there this year to get the uh, second annual Heritage Award. We don't know who it is yet, but uh, we keep everybody in suspense. Patty Lovelace got it last year, so it could be somebody good. So y'all y'all make plans to be with us. He's got flyers on it back there. Check it out, Dr. Ralph Stanley Mew, Dr. Ralph Stanley Festival .com. All right, that's right. That's the festival you said in Bristol. Uh, you said Ralph too, and the Clinch Mountain Boys are going to be there, right? Saturday. All, All right, right, I'll be there then. Sounds good. <laughs> Real quick, uh, all of our albums are back there. Y'all uh, come by during intermission there and shake and howdy with us. Uh, we've got our Super Walmart and everything else back there. And uh, Yes, sir. Ralph's got uh, all of his albums back there. The latest Ralph Stanley II and the Clinch Mountain Boys CD is back there. And a lot of songs we've done tonight is on that. And he's also got the album with uh, Smile For Me and Bluefield, Wilder Than Her, all them good numbers on it. Uh, the album that came out before that. Also, a Stanley Brothers album back there that was recorded live in 1957 up in the good state of Pennsylvania. Uh, for anybody that likes the good classic Stanley Brothers music like myself, you definitely want to get one of them. It's, uh, there's only going to be very few of them made, so uh, you be sure to check that out too on uh, Ralph's table. Randall, you've got some t-shirts. I love what the t-shirts say myself. I own about three or four of them. Yeah. It says there's two kinds of music, bluegrass and that other stuff. <laughs> so be sure to get one of them. I've got all of my CDs back there tonight. I'm feeling good, so uh, you buy two of mine, I'll throw a third one in for free. We've got the Mountain Heart 8 CD and uh, a couple other good ones back there with Ralph and all the gang on them with me. You buy and two of mine, I'll throw him in for free. What? <laughs> Anyhow, we, we've got them all back there, and uh, y'all shaking howdy with us. We'll be back to play some more good bluegrass music right after the intermission. So uh, anyhow, I believe that's about all I gotta say. Uh, John has some albums too, and he has uh, plenty of records, I know that. Yeah. And uh, if you want any of them, go down to uh, the Lawrence County Courthouse in Kentucky, and they'll set you up with any record of his you want. All right, Ralph, back over to you. All right, we'll squeeze two more in real quick here. And uh, I do want to say that, uh, you know, y'all be sure to come back and take a look at what we do have. Uh, it ain't where we, uh, really, that we need the money, but Everybody that we owe needs money, that's for sure. So, you know what that's like. 
Alex just helped me remember a, a smile for me. That's a song on the Bluefield album, Wilder and Her. And so uh, we've been doing that the last couple shows, and a lot of people seem to be glad that, that we brought it back in. So uh, smile for me, uh, Tom T. Hall and Miss Dixie Hall, uh, the late Miss Dixie wrote this song. And again, man, this young man right here worked it up. So let's sing it good enough.
so sick she gained with a good carnation bed. Come the next spring down the road, and the nose and I'll be coming back. Oh, and the nose and I'll be coming back. Oh, and I just want to know what I say. Don't let me around in this world. But you know I got a girl who loves me, babe. Oh, and I just want to know what I say.